Hey guys, here's Diane Vane coming to you with number 13 of this Let's Play of Bastion. I'm thinking that 15 will be the last one. I just looked ahead at the video I captured and it looks like we have one and about a half videos, so I'll probably turn it into two. Um, yeah, thanks everyone who's kept watching so far. Um, it's really appreciated and also of course um, like comment tell your friends add it to your favorites if you really really like it alright thanks guys have a good day and enjoy imagine everything you need to build a city like Ceylandia it takes hard work and planning, and it also takes Burstone Quarry. The Ura tunnels beneath the quarry must have softened the blow from the calamity. We bought the whole place from the Ura on the cheap. Same goes for its natives. Rattletails. Rattletails ain't the worst of it either, but more about that in a little bit. The quarry came with a lifetime supply of windbags. Windbags smaller than the naked eye can see are nesting in those rocks. Exactly up to safety standards no more. But there was even more to it than that. Not only are these rocks a source of life, but we found that the oldest ones remember things. They're recording everything, all the time, taking it all in. No wonder all those beasts were drawn to the quarry. The rocks were calling them. Keeping the quarry free from pests turned out to be a problem. Rattletails kept tunneling in the snack on windbags. Without those windbags, the quarry might not have its special qualities. Even stink eyes started taking root in here. sell off such a fascinating place. The Ura always were a superstitious lot. Might be the gods told them the quarry's bad news.
hell to that. You know the Ura hated anything above ground. Might be the quarry just got too much sunshine for my liking. In any case, it's fair to say the quarry was a godsend. Those rocks, all polished to a mirror sheen. single core could keep the lights on in an entire city district. The smaller ones, we call them shards. Shard's got a fraction of a core's power, enough to fuel a voyage to the motherland. Well, now the quarry's all dried up. These rocks are much too young to be of use. Remember how I said rattle tails ain't the worst thing in the quarry? That honor goes to a beast we took to Colin, Sir Lunky. Massive things stomp many of our boys, but we just couldn't get rid of him. We never could get stubborn old Lunky to leave the quarry alone. Then the kid hears a voice calling from down the hall. Are you all right? It says. It's him. I've come to warn you, he says. The Bastion is under siege. Let it fall. You should not go back. Kid hears him, but he ain't about to be deterred. If that's the way it is, he says, then I won't stop you. Because my countrymen will. Say what you will about Zulf, but he's a man of his word. His countrymen don't much care for pleasantries, though. Too bad for that. Zulf showed him the way here, and here they came to take revenge. They got inside the bastion and shut the door. Kids gotta go in through the back. 
I should have told him sooner about all this. Unfortunately, they broke in, and they started digging their holes. Something wrong and sprung out of those holes, and it's eaten away at this place. We tried to stop them, but we needed help. Somehow, some way, he sends those who are packing. Problem is, it didn't matter. Zolf's plan worked. We find each other as the dust settles. Then I tell him why the Ura came. To get us back. For the Calamity. It was Ceylandia's master plan to wipe the Ura out. But part of that plan backfired, didn't it? If only Zolf knew the whole story. The shards can put this disease in remission, but there's only one cure. We need to finish what we started. It seems the gods recommended this place to all their friends. Now all we need is one last shard. <laughs> 